Hey everybody, I'm Zebob, and this is Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth. And I'm pondering something. What is it with these Morella tops? Their feet don't touch the ground! Bertha. Yeah, we know you have warp drive, but you float too. Does that make you a lighter than air v Hey! That was rude. You are a rude monster. Yeah, so... Are you a lighter than air vehicle? I think that smirk means yes. I think the Marilla Tops have a secret. Maybe their hump turns into a balloon or something. I don't know. I might make a cool mod. But yeah, things are rocking along here. And I've had a thought. So, we're going to pursue that thought today, and it's going to be fun. We are going to go out and tame up a T-Rex. Yep, there's T-Rexes here. I don't know why. You would think they would all get baked in the sun into, like, T-Rex jerky, but they're here. So I was thinking, T-Rexes are pretty good at eating things, and we need something to eat a death worm. And then we get the horns, and then we get a bunch of horns, and then we can get a mantis. And then I can stop farming fiber by hand. That is what I want. That is my fondish wish right now, that I don't have to keep swinging the sickle. But yeah, T-Rex. So, um, I don't have a kibble farm yet. I could get some scorpions and wait for them to make eggs. And then I could make a farm and wait for the crops to grow. And then I could make kibble. And then we get like three extra levels off the dude when we tame him up. Because we're not going to find a perfect one here. Probably not. If we do, then yeah, I'll... I'll do the, the kibble thing, but no, we're just gonna go get as high levels we can swing, beat it some primes, team it up, take it out, level it up, and then hopefully, pretty soon, it'll be ready to take on a death worm. You know, I, I think that'd be enough, because uh, close to a 120 T-Rex that's uh, leveled up properly can bite really, really hard. Uh, but yeah, I've never done it, so it'll be a learning experience. I think we'll leave speed bump at home for that one. But yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So, I'm already loaded up. I've uh, got trank darts, way too many. And I got my wreck saddle. And I'm taking these wooden spike walls because it's going to take a long time to starve it out. So I'm going to surround it with spike walls so we can just leave it be and not worry so much about it getting chewed on by the random raptors that just sort of patrol everywhere around here, making life difficult. On scorched earth yeah so we got to go get on vermiliona our happy little speedy bird and we're gonna go out and arc is lagging a little bit we're gonna go out and we're gonna find ourselves a great big ugly mean potentially house eating t-rex and knock it out in an epic epic battle Bingo! We have a winner. 112. That's pretty good. He looks like a guy who could probably eat a death worm. Alright, let's see. We gotta plan this fight out. And. Yeah, see, there's gonna be this guy here. Is there anything high? Oh, he's already interested in me. Wow. You are aggressive. Okay, so let's see. Are you already on me? No. Come here, Mr. X. Got a tasty bird. Oh, you, you're eating those guys. Okay, you, you just eat those guys. And then, yeah, you kill him. That'll make you feel better. Go ahead and kill him, and you can chase me. Alright, maybe I should go ahead and. Wait, there's another one. Oh, okay, this is not good. There's another one over here. Ugh. Good thing I didn't start that fight. What level are you? 28, yeah, you die. In fact, you have primes that I might need, except I think they're probably going to spoil before the other guy teams up. So, wasted meat. You are wasted meat. Did I just kill a Jerboa? Or is my Jerboa fighting? Who cares? Okay, oh, there he is. He's like, hey, you killed my friend. I'm like, hey, one of your friends ate my house. 
jerks. Let's see if we can bean that guy. Yeah, he's coming. Got him. Okay. So let's hope he's not a magical wall climbing T-Rex, because that would not be fun. I'm a little worried about ads and stuff, but I brought bad taste, so... Oh, and I made some more lead for it, so yeah, we're good there. Uh-oh. Okay, that looked a little too creative. Alright. Oh, you're stuck! You big doofus. Yeah. You can just... Yeah, that'd be cool if you went down right there. I could wall that up pretty easily. That'd be cool. Yeah, we're gonna just cover your nose in darts. We're gonna name you Dartboard. No, that's a dumb name. That's not a cool name. See, in ARC, if you want to check if your name is cool, you introduce him and you say, Behold, the mighty, and then the name. And, Behold, the mighty Dartboard. That doesn't work, so we're not going to name him Dartboard. I have to think of something else. Worm Slayer doesn't, doesn't do it for me either. Come on, man. This has got to be the most boring T-Rex fight I have ever seen. I think I'm falling asleep. My torpor is dropping. Ugh. Alright, well, I think... No, okay, he's moving. He's moving. He's... Are you coming back at me? You're coming at me, Broosaurus. Okay, yeah, alright. Yeah, you... All you can do is look at me angrily because you're too dumb to come up this... Whoa, okay, that was a little close. Yeah, oh, are you running now? Are you running now for reals? Or are you just going to, like, run and come back? Okay, he's running pretty far. Okay, that's not good. We gotta chase him down. This is what I don't like about these kind of fights, because there could just be ads and ads and ads. And then how do I know when he like changes his mind and is like trying to eat me again? He stopped. He stopped. You running again? You great big coward? Oh he's running again, okay. Yeah. Come on. Alright, dude. Yeah, he... No. What are you, are you... Are you coming after me? Yeah, okay. He changed his mind again. He's coming after me. Okay. I haven't even been tracking the darts I've used. I've only used like 25. I think it's going to be around 40. And I haven't missed yet that I'm aware. But yeah. Nope, I missed. There, I missed. I finally missed. I jinxed myself. Shouldn't talk about missing. All right, back in your head. Yeah, see, that is a great spot for a nap. Doesn't that look just comfortable? I think it looks comfortable. Big, cushy rocks for your great big dinosaur butt. Okay, I'm freezing to death, but that's okay. It'll be over before too long. Oh, you know what? Can't see anything. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Didn't think about that. Now everybody can see what's going on. Okay, yeah. Eyeball. Oh, right in your eyeball. Yeah, that made him mad. That made him mad. He's like, you're not fair. You shot me in the eyeball. Oh, come on, buddy. I missed. All right. I have put out probably 35. Oh, oh, wait. Are you coming back? Did you want some? Did you want some? Are you coming after me or are you just being a jerk? He's just being a jerk. He's just being a jerk. Are you going to come get me? Are you gonna come get me, big guy? He's like, no, you're mean to me. Oh, are you coming now? Okay, good. Come on, yeah, come back. Come back to our little spot. Whoa. That was close. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Come have a big nap on the soft rocks. Yeah. Oops. I only stuck on that rock. Alright, why is it being arky? Okay. It's paused for a second. Right in your face. See if we can get it right between your teeth. Nope. Don't you change your mind again? You are so fickle. You are a big fickle monster. Fickle monster. Over here. There's a nice juicy house behind me. Why don't you come chew on that? I'm way too close. If he changes his mind, he's gonna bite me really quickly. See in the butt, does that help? Is that faster in the butt? Yeah. 
Okay. Just go down. You're starting to bore me. Okay, we change the gamma back because, well, we'll do that. We'll do that, gamma. Oh. Okay. Now he's running even further. Give in to the inevitable, my friend. You will succumb to my mighty tiny dart things. How did that miss? That should not have missed. I'm getting too far away from my bird. There, I got him. All right, bird, come on. Okay, that was not smart. I needed him not following me because I needed a tactically. Yep, here he comes. No, nope, he's still afraid of me. He's still afraid of me. Uh oh. And we're getting a storm warning. Brilliant. We've got all kinds of drama. Oops. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, almost. Better luck next time, you big jerk. This is taking forever. Come on. Okay, the guns are being weird again. I think it's like a problem with these particular guns, because... Oh, we got him! Good. All right, now you can follow. Okay, now we want this gun instead. Case of ads. And... All right, come here. Vermiliona, come here. Come here. Come here, bird. There. Land. One more follow. And we're going to put up our walls while this guy starves out. And then there's going to be a storm. And we got to get the, these in. If it's a sandstorm, that would not be helpful. But, yeah, we're going to have a T-Rex. One way or the other, we're going to have a T-Rex. I'm going to go ahead and throw these up, and then... <clears throat> wow, I hope that's not hurting him. Okay. It's a little bit close. Um, I'm going to throw these up and starve him out, and then we will come back when he is going to tame up. Oh, it's a big tail. The time has come. Time to feed this guy. And here we go. All right, 99.7, 99.6. He's going to be a big one. Yeah. He sure takes a long time to eat. Come on, big guy. Hurry up. We got stuff to do. Yeah. All right. Let's do our name test. Introducing the mighty Rexagon. Yeah. Okay. It's almost. Hey there, guy. Yeah, you're all friendly now. Let's give you a saddle. Oh, you still have a bunch of primes in you. Oh well. We are going to throw you some meat. You know, we don't even need to. Well, yeah, we'll do it for now. I was going to say, he'll probably grab a snack on the way home, but... Yeah. Alright, let's see what he's got, actually. He's already got 6,300 health. 1500 stamina ish and already almost 400% melee which I guess that's not bad for starting off yeah so I guess what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to bust him out of this pin I made for him to protect him and then we're gonna take Vermiliona back to base and then we're gonna take him out and he's gonna go snack on everything in sight and yeah, we're back at base with our new T-Rex, Rexagon. Rexagon, I gotta explain the house rules to you. Well, there's really only one rule. It's the house rule. Don't eat my house, okay? That's the house. House is no. Okay? No eating the house. Got that? We good? Yeah, alright, cool. 
Yeah, so we're gonna go out now on this guy. And with our little weather radar on our back, speed bump, and we are gonna go tear up the desert. Look at all you critters, I got a T-Rex. Can't stop me now. Not that you were great at stopping me before, but yeah, overkill is always better. Oh, Mr. Morella Tops. All gone. What else we got over here? Hello, Mr. Dodicarus. Or Miz. I don't really know. I'm not going to bother to look. Yeah, and we're putting everything in melee for now until we get back uh, up to about a thousand. Just because it makes it so much faster. And then I'm going to seriously focus on this guy's hit points because I really. Oh, he ran out of juice. I really don't know how hard the deathworms hit, and I don't want him to get taken out too easily. So I'm probably going to overdo it on the hit points a little bit. But yeah, we're going to go have fun tearing up the desert, leveling up, and then I guess we'll be back when we're out on the hunt for a deathworm. Alright, we've got our last level for today. This should put us over 1500 melee. Alright, and we've got 30,000 health. And if it takes more than 30,000 health and 1500 melee on a T Rex to kill a death worm, hmm, that would be bad. See, I haven't actually read about this or planned this or anything. It's just an idea I had and I want to try it. And I'm going to try it, and I'm going to post it no matter what happens. So it's going to be entertaining. But you know, let's drop all this crap. But yeah, now that we're ready, I think, we need to head back to base and drop off Speed Bump and this other stuff we got. Oh, we got, from a drop, we got Mantis Idol Blueprint, which I think is a good sign from the Ark Gods. We're on the right track to getting a Mantis. We have to go kill a bunch of Death Worms with the T-Rex. And then maybe in a couple episodes we can tame up one of those guys and stop farming fiber, which would be awesome. Who is that making noise? Oh, you kids play nice now. Well, we're headed back to base. And then we're going to head out in the desert and meet our fate together. And here we are, the desert, on our super Super powerful T-Rex guy. We have to go find the worm and kill the worm and take the worm's horns because apparently some kinds of worms have horns. You'd think some other species has horns, but whatever. All right, yeah, so we're going to go scout around for the death worm. And as soon as we get some worm sign, we'll be right back. Man, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope my first one is not an alpha. Here it comes. Here comes the moment of truth. Yeah, come on. There we go. Yeah, all right. Death worm. Die, Mr. Death. Oh, he's already bloody. Well, that's good. That's a good sign. Yeah. I disabled victim item collection on him, so when I hop off, he won't run up and eat the death worm while I'm trying to get the horn. Yes! Wow. That was cool. That was cool. Okay. Wow, we got a level up. What do we want? I think we want more melee. Eh, move it. Eh, Melee. Uh-oh. Let's see, did we get a horn in the inventory? No, we didn't. Let's go back around here. Oh, I got a level two. How do I... Oh, there we go, we got a horn. 
We got one horn. All right, what is this guy? When you eat him, you get lots of just regular stuff. Lots of primes. That's cool. Awesome. Man, we only lost a thousand hit points. Okay, that was... I was expecting more of a fight than that. That... that I don't know. Glad to be overprepared. Glad to have a victory. But, yeah, that was... It seemed like a little... A little too easy. I'm kind of tempted to fight an alpha if I find one. I don't really know. I mean, I guess it's just random. But, yeah. Let's see, what do we got? Just... Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go look for our next victim. Here we go again. Next target. Ooh, uh oh, is that an alpha? It's black. Does that mean it's an alpha? Oh, and it's already bloody. Whatever it is, it's about to die. Let's we'll see what that thing is. I hope the stupid vulture doesn't eat the body. Would be bad. Oh, made the vulture. Good. Yeah, this has got to be. No, nope, it's just a death worm. And where did the? Where did the horn go? Um. Okay, I chewed too fast. Is that what happened? There's no horn. There's no nothing. What was that? You just eat it in midair. Whoops. That's not good. Excuse you. Yeah, okay. I guess I eat it in midair. Is there like a bag? Yeah, there's a bag. Okay, good. There's a bag right here. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, that was number two. I got like bigger than the last one and he was black instead of white. I thought it maybe it was an alpha, but I guess not. He still went down pretty easy, and my guy... Yeah, he's just... 1,000 hit points. Eh. I guess he's a little bit overprepared. Oops. So, yeah. We're going to keep on going and see how many of these things we can kill. And, uh, I don't know how many horns we need. Probably six or seven. Maybe eight. But, yeah. So, apparently, if you eat them, they leave a bag on the ground. That's very kind of them. Next up is... Why does it wait so long? Come on. Don't be shy. Really? Is it broken? Do I need to back up? Give him a little room? There he goes. There. Even with all that melee, it still takes a while. Still takes a while to kill him. Which I guess is good. The first one died a little bit easier. Oh yeah, I left all my weapons at home. Haha. <laughs> okay. Sure thing, Mr. Ant. Yeah, he just killed it. Worm. I can take him. Yeah. Oh, was there another one? Oh. I don't think so. It'd be coming at me. Alright. Well, I'm going to go farm these guys for a while. And if there's something interesting, like an alpha or something, then I'll show that. But it's kind of getting repetitive. Alright. I think I might go for it. See what trouble we can get into. Okay, you're now you're cheating. You're supposed to stay on the ground. Oh, I got it. I've gotten it twice. I got it. Ah, ha, ha. Dude. Wow. This guy. He lost. Not even two thousand. Wow. That was cool. 
Oh, Lightning Talon. Awesome. Whatever that is. Hey. I guess I need to level up. What do we want? Carry weight. Okay. Wow, so I got one Wyvern Wyvern Dragon Monster down. That was pretty easy. I guess if they're on the ground, it's pretty easy. If they're flying, not so much. But hey. So, we're going to continue on. And... Oh, no, it's raining. Good. And we're home again. Well, in the end, we did one lap of the outside desert. And we got four Deathworm Horns. And we got to kill a lightning dragon monster guy, which is a bonus. Didn't expect that. Really, really, really killed him quickly, though, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, I'm glad to have a guy that can stand up to those now, because every once in a while I see him flying overhead, eyeballing the base, thinking, no, you guys are not going to eat my house, too. That is not going to happen. Yep. So... To recap, we got our super duper awesome new T-Rex, Rexagon, and we killed Deathworms, but not an Alpha, just regular Deathworms. So yeah, it's a little more adventure to be had out of the desert. And I think I'll have to do a couple more laps and get some more horns, and then we can tame up a Mantis pretty soon. But for now, this is Z-Bob saying... Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.